Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the Pete's Garage. Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix a very common problem. That problem is this. Rust around your gas cap or your gas fueler door here. And it's a very common problem. This car is a 2002 and it happens all over the place here and I'm going to show you how to fix this. Now the owner of this car fixed it himself but the rust came back. And the rust comes back for many reasons. So what I'm going to show you is how to clean this up and how to fix this rust permanently so you don't have to worry about painting it and having it show up like this again. Let me pull it in the shop and we'll get started. The first step in the repair is to grind off the paint around the entire area here. You want to go a little further than you see the rust and of course you want to be careful not to hit the fuel door or the surrounding plastic parts. You don't have to paint those two. Now with the paint removed, we can see what really caused this to rust. The panel doesn't rust from the outside in, meaning it doesn't get water on it and rust through the metal. It rusts from behind. Now this panel goes underneath and it folds up back and it creates sort of a pocket beneath, uh, in between the outer panel and the inner panel. When water sits here, it causes rust. So I can tap this and I can feel rust scaling behind the metal here. And you can see the hole this hole here, so it rusted from behind. The, these holes here, there's holes all around. So if you were just to fill this in with putty, the putty would get water behind it and start to bubble like it did before. So the first thing I'm going to do is here, I'm going to tap this. I want to kind of countersink this hole a little bit. I want to uh, push it in and I want to make sure, shake loose any rust that's in there because any rust that's there will continue to rust. And then what I'm going to do is, after I do that, I'm going to squirt some, uh, just a, a rust preventative inside this panel and then I'll show you how to do a nice lead repair on this area clean it up and it'll be a repair that will last another 15-20 years you'll never see it pop through you can see here how thin this metal is right here and you can see as I tap how it just flakes right off so this metal is, is really 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 rusted and it's rusted behind see all that material behind there Feel the material coming out of there, and as I tap it, I tap right through the. I'm tapping right through the thin spots. It goes right through. So this metal is very thin. So I am going to. Uh, I'm going to just tap that. Find my really thin spots like that. Get as much as I can from behind here. I'm going to tap this. See that rust coming out of there? I want to get all that rust out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to clean this out. I'm going to use a vacuum as I tap to get all that out of there. And you can see, look at it, we have some uh, undercoating that's coming through from the other side. So let me clean that all up and I'll come back and show you the rust. So you just never know how much rust is really in there until you start cleaning it out. If I pull, as I pull this out, there's rust that's behind this panel. And as I tap it, you see it all fall out. See all that rust coming out? Got to get all that out of there. All that rust that's in there, that holds moisture. That'll hold moisture and cause it to rust all over the place. I'm going to clean all that out. Okay, I have this cleaned out pretty good. Now I'm going to shine a flashlight in here. You can see how close the inner panel, or the inner part of the, the, the fender there, or the quarter panel, how close the inner is to the outer. It's pretty close. I have this peeled back pretty good. So what I'm going to do is, let me, let me back up here a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a, a rust converter. And this is a Proform rust converter. You can buy it at any, geez, any auto store, auto body supply store, maybe even AutoZone sells it, I don't know. But you're just going to take this rust converter and I'm going to brush it. I want to brush it inside here. And I'm going to try and get as much as possible to convert any surface rust inside here to a primer to stop the rust. Now it's not going to stop completely, but I want to seal up that rust first. Now a couple schools of thought. You could cut this metal out, cut this whole thing out, replace it, and repair it, and do a uh, long permanent repair. But this is a 2002. Uh, it's just a college kid driver car. 
and I'm trying to fix it as a favor to keep it as cheap as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix it with lead the other way. But let me get this, uh, I'm gonna get this rust converter inside there, brush a few coats in there, and then we'll get on with the lead repair. So here's the culprit of why the rust started in the first place. You can see in the inner panel, which is the panel over the wheel well where the panel folds back, there's a hole. A hole rusted in there. Water got inside between the two panels. It sat between the two panels and rusted this whole thing out from the inside out to the outside. So I checked the, the integrity of this panel all the way around and it kind of is kind of rusted out up to this, this edge here where the gas cap starts. So I'm going to fix all the way up to here because this is where the metal is pretty good. And then I'll come around on the bottom and the rest of it, there's a little hole up here that I'll fix. Let me see, show you. See there's a little hole right here, I'll fix that too. But the first thing I want to do is fix that hole. If I don't fix that hole, water will continue to get in here and, and rot the rest of this underneath. So I'm going to fix that hole first. After I fix that hole, I'm going to lead that shut. I'll put some more sealer in there and then I'll come back and we'll do the lead repair. Okay, I have my the surface here is all tinned all the way around. I got that all cleaned up and the hole that's inside there is filled so I don't have to worry about water getting any more. So the question becomes, okay, you got this big hole here. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to fill that whole thing in there? Well, not really. I kind of have this, this surface is kind of countersunk. I pushed it in a little bit like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of start at the bottom here and I'm going to put my lead. Now there's, there's metal that's going to be soft here because of just the nature of the way the metal is and the way it's so rusted. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to work real slow and this takes a vast amount of patience. And I'm going to build up my lead. Like I said, I'm starting the bottom here and I'm going to go real slow. And I'm just going to build, I guess, a film, a lead film. I'm not going to fill the whole thing in. It's going to look like it, but I'm not really going to be doing that. And this is going to take a while. I won't film the whole thing, but you can see here, you kind of get the idea of how this builds up. Let me continue this and then I'll come back after I get this done and show you the paddle section, the maple paddles and how you thin out the lead. Or how you smooth out the lead rather. Now I'm going to use my maple paddle and just start smoothing out the lead. And this also takes a lot of patience to make sure you don't Get it, let it sag and let it all run right off of the side of the car. Working on vertical surfaces is a little more difficult than flat. So you just take your time, heat the lead up, move it where you want it. Go very slow and shape it just like you would shape Bondo and body filler. You shape it very slow. It's a very slow process. But it's a more permanent process than Bondo and uh, regular synthetic or polyester body fillers. So this is going to yield a repair that, number one, won't bubble from the back like the previous repair. And since it's a metal repair, it will last a lot lot longer and it won't bubble from the side on the paint either that's also a problem when you use uh, polyester fillers so I like Bondo because the paint even though the paint looks solid it is kind of porous and moisture can get through the pores and the Bondo is porous polyester fillers are porous metal will, uh, water will ma eventually make its way through the filler through the paint and into the metal causing your repair to lift and peel and you'll end up doing it again in a couple years. Okay, let me keep working with this and when I'm done I'll come back and show you that. Now I have the lead finished. I'm going to come in with my metal file, my metal body file. File down the lead. Just like you would, just like you would Bondo. And it works pretty quick. Lead is fairly soft so files down pretty quick. And if you've done a good job building up the lead, the surface will be nice and flat when you're done. And 
And after about five minutes, there's our finished, finished metal repair. Now, I, can, I gotta clean this off since the flux that's on there was acid. I gotta wash this down with water and baking soda to neutralize all the acid and clean all this up. I'll clean all this up and finish it like I would normal filling. I'll put a little bit of primer on there, a little spot putty just to even it out. A glaze, um, you know, like a, a regular putty. Even it out, sand it down, prime it, and then I'll paint it. So let's see what it looks like after I get some primer on there and a little spot putty. Here we are after one coat of a primer filler just to fill it in a little bit. Nice and flat. Come around on the side here you can see a little bit more. Came out nice and flat. The lead is nice and smooth. There are a couple little bit of areas there I'll have to fill in, but after this is dry, I'll just put a little bit of spot putty on a couple little spots. And paint up, we'll be all done. I'm just using the standard dupla color can. You don't need to do uh, with the big spray gun to get for the good good results since it's only a repair, just kind of fixer upper. That's all I really need. And since it's white and I use gray primer, you really should put a couple coats on just to get the color to match because the primer will show through. But, uh, but that's about it. A little touch up, one nice clean, clean good coat. And there you have it. Repair using lead, no bondo and has no chance of bubbling up like the last repair. Well, there you have it guys. That's how you fix rust around your fuel door opening or anywhere where there's metal folded up close to each other. Fairly simple to do. You can do it for 25 bucks or less for materials. It should take you no longer than an afternoon to do and you can have a real nice quality pair of dice for a real long time. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.